Josh Patch, and then we have Jack Stewart, Alfie Thompson, Riley Bishop, and Wesley Swain, the last four there to come through from the B final. So it's a pretty busy grid, as you can see, but they've done a good job in getting themselves into order very, very quickly. So we should get uh, underway pretty soon here. Looks like all the drivers have got... And we're just waiting for that green flag. And there it is. So we're going to get ready to go race. Berta just about got the jump going in towards turn number one. So Keen Berta up second place as they head up towards turn number three for the first time. Keen Berta left the door open there, but uh, Ginchard did not go for the move. Third place is definitely Theo Mercuris. Then it is uh, fourth place of Archie Walker. Fifth place looks to be Daryl Taylor as they head up towards turn number seven. Just trying to pick out six, sixth. I think it might be Declan Russell. Uh, no, in fact, he's in seventh place. It's Anthony Sofroniou in sixth place as they come down the back straight. There goes Stephen McCurious to make his move on Daniel Ginchard, who uh, is not having any of it, and in fact goes for the lead himself. Keen Berta almost run out of road there as they come through the final corner. Down the start, finish straight. McCurris. Theo McCurris, sorry there, just had to get a few messages come in from uh, race control. And uh, Theo McCurris, it is leading the way. So uh, just a couple of messages being delivered. So apologies for the brief pause there. It's McCurris who leads from, uh, from Ginchard. Third place is uh, Archie Walker. Fourth place is Daryl Taylor. as they come out of the last corner. Then fifth place, we have Anthony Sofroniou. Here comes Keen Berta there in the all blue, trying to go into uh, fifth place. Not had the best of starts here, Keen Berta, but uh, let's see, he goes into fifth now. So Keen Berta is indeed into fifth. Of course, early leader, up to six. Oh, and there's an instant. Well, that looked as if it was a move that was never gonna work, and that's the 85, Caden Morrison spinning round. That rejoins the track and it delays there the 57 in the process. I think that was we definitely wouldn't have been happy with uh, how he uh, rejoined the circuit. But uh, overall, yep, yeah, there is the 57. So uh, let's put the, him under a little bit of pressure. So he's going to be way down the field, unfortunately. I'll say, uh, there was the replay, as you can see. Arm up straight away. But uh, out front, here are your two leaders. And, uh, McCurris and Kinchard, and they have got a, an advantage over the rest of the field. Uh, Archie Walker is third. Fourth place is Daryl Taylor. Uh, they're in their own pair with, uh, of course, McCurris and Kinchard just up ahead as they come through turn number five and now down towards turn six. Keen Berta then is fifth. So Fronniou sixth. Greg is seventh. Lomax is eighth, Russell is ninth, then Declan Russell is tenth, so JJ Russell is in ninth place. As they come now onto the back straight, very close between the two leaders, there's a lot of racing to do in this one, believe me, seven and a half minutes, plus one lap to go, and as you would have been already, if you haven't watched any of the Honda Cadet racing today, or indeed if this is your first time watching Honda Cadet racing at Wilton Mill, You'll find out very quickly how close it can be. I hope that's not me uh, putting a curse on the uh, complexity of this race. Now, someone did just drop a few places there. It was Jaden Craig. Not too sure what happened to the 34, but uh, he's dropped from 7th to 13th place in one lap. So, not a good lap at all. That could be the uh, signs of just how close the racing is. And once you lose one, you lose six. But uh, Jaden Craig, a bit of recovering to do now. Perhaps went uh, off track briefly. Uh, down towards uh, turn number eight then. There is Daryl Taylor still trying to work with Archie Walker. Of course, Keen Berta, definitely a big uh, hitter missing from this one in terms of uh, the lead, the battle for the podium positions. But uh, there's not much he can do. He's on his own. He's got no one to work with in fifth place. And uh, he's just going to have to try and uh, 
stay roughly where he is until the battle kicks off at the end. And if the two leaders stay where they are, indeed it, indeed it should do. And look at that battle going on. So further down the field, as there we have a change of lead. Ginchard has gone past Mercurius. Well spotted there by our crew to pick that one up. So Ginchard then into the race lead. And look at this. Here we go. And uh, in all of that, three have gone off. Well, they sort of kind of come to a stop and get going again. So uh, not too sure who is involved in that one. Uh, I think we had one of the novice drivers involved. Now we've got someone off the field, which was uh, the number 57. And uh, down the back straight, there's some more drivers being delayed. Declan Russell making a place, and Lewis Spears, I think that is. And as uh, we head through the boots, it's now on lap number seven. Oh, and two more off. Well, that's the number 40 of Jake Genovis, who has gone into the barriers there. Let's have a look at the replay. And, uh, oh, well, driver error. No other way of putting it. It's actually delayed uh, the driver who was ahead. But, uh, fortunately, driver error put him out of the race. Now, we have quite a few drivers falling out of the race here. But we do have uh, the top two also being closed in by uh, Archie Walker and Daryl Taylor. King Berta in fifth is the quickest on track as they head down the back straight and into the boot. It's now lap number seven. The gap between fourth and fifth was 1.6 seconds. It's still 1.6 seconds at the moment, uh, but between second and third, it is seven tenths, which is not a lot. And as you can see, Ginchard knows that. He's just looking over his shoulder. You can see that Walker and Taylor are just there. And as a result of that, he's just going to uh, stay behind the Curus and see if they can just build that gap over the next few laps. But you could think the complete opposite way and he could go past like he is now and let Mercurius deal with uh, Walker and Taylor when they arrive. So, uh, yep, yeah, not a bad idea that from Ginchard to go straight into the lead, realising what's happening behind because uh, not only has he got him into the lead but it's pushed Mercurius back into the clutches of Archie Walker and Daryl Taylor as they come across the line through turn one. And now through turn number two they go. And uh, Theo Mercurius, what's he going to do? Is he going to fight back, I wonder? Yes, he is, is the answer. Up at turn three, he goes into the race lead. No one wants to be in second place, it seems, at this moment. As they come down towards turn six, there we go. Once again, another change of lead. And this time, two positions lost for the leader. So Mercurius has gone down to third. Archie Walker has gone up to second place here. And Daryl Taylor still in fourth as they now head down the back straight. Ginchard uh, is uh, just seeing now he's got a cart between himself and uh, Mercurius. Make that two as well as they head now uh, across the start finish line. And uh, in towards turn number two. And now Archie Walker. Could he be the driver to go on and win this one, I wonder, as they come up to turn three. We're getting well towards the end of the race now. Two and a half minutes plus that extra lap. Mercurius is getting a little bit impatient there in the seven. Goes through the third down at turn six. But uh, up ahead, Walker is getting ready to line up a move. Now, Keen Berta was once 1.6 behind these guys. He's now 1.1 with all the small changes that have been going on. Through the boots they go now for lap number 10. And uh, Theo Mercurius setting purple sectors, as is that man, Keen Berta, as he comes through the last corner. Up towards the first corner now they go. And Archie Walker, I think, is about to go for a move here. That said, Ginchard, oh, is he going to start defending already? Two minutes to go. And Ginchard is putting the brakes on here. Archie Walker in second. McCurr is third. Taylor in fourth. Well, I guess he's got every reason to. It's late in the race. He's got a cue behind him. And look at Daryl Taylor. He's going to try for the outside. Well, he didn't make any places, but he was worth the go, wasn't it? McCurr 
almost going into second. He's now briefly off the circuit as they go into turn eight. Daryl Taylor now goes up to second place. Good uh, uh, opportunistic driving there from Daryl Taylor. Keen Berta all of a sudden is in with a chance of a podium finish. Mercuris is down to fifth place. And uh, you can see Daniel Ginchard has broken away now. As Daryl Taylor looks behind, is he able to close in on Daniel Ginchard over the next three laps? He's looking behind him more than he's looking forward, which would uh, suggest to me perhaps he won't be able to, but uh, we'll still let's give him a chance. Pim Berta is up to third. Mercurius is up to fourth. And then we have Archie Walker now down to fifth place as they make their way up towards turn number seven. 30 seconds left on the clock. Daryl Taylor, in terms of sector times, is, uh, well, a bit slower through sector one. Let's see, through sector two, slower once again. So I'd say Daniel Ginchard's lead is safe. Twelve laps now completed, and Ginchard has just under a second. It's uh, someone of his quality should be able to hold on to this now. Uh, who's going to take second place, though? Who's going to join him on the podium? What order will they be in? Daryl Taylor, at the moment, will be second place, but uh, he's going to have a lot of defending on his hands to do as he comes down towards turn number six. Keen Berta is there. Mercurius is there. Archie Walker is there. I don't think we'll see anyone else join this queue. Uh, Stian McCurris now tries for third up at turn seven, uh, but in trying to do that, he's going to lose a place. There goes Archie Walker into third place. Well, Archie Walker up into third as they now make their way down towards uh, the boot. Has Archie Walker got something caught on his right rear tyre there? But uh, is it... Yeah, I think he might have, just being told that, he might have actually picked up someone's number on the side of his tyre. So nothing to be too concerned about, it seems. But uh, back to the race. Ian McCurris, oh, tries around the outside up at turn three. Daryl Taylor definitely showed him to the outside of the circuit. And McCurris just picking up a little bit of contact. This is the last lap. Ginchard looks almost home and dry. But who's going to take second? It could be any one of these four drivers as McCurr is gambling all the way around the out. Turn eight. He may be onto the grass here. No, he isn't. Oh, and well, Keen Berta going slightly airborne there. Daryl Taylor is going to take second. And it looks as if Archie Walker is going to take third place. Or is he? McCurris, a little bit of a bump. Darryl, uh, Daniel Ginchard, sorry, has come across the line and taken the win. Daryl Taylor takes second. And third is Archie Walker. Theo McCurris finishes in fourth place. Daniel Perrin-Smith in fifth. Then it's Lewis Spears in sixth. Keen Berta in seventh. Anthony Sofroniu was eighth. Then behind that we had Morgan Hill, Reese Lomax, Archie Shigahama, JJ Russell. Then next along was Alexander Mikos, Jaden Gregg and Ollie Stevens rounded out the top 15. Well, there's your race winner. Daniel Ginchard will get through the rest of the positions. Joshua Gambar was next, 16th. Then it was Hanley, Nakanja Uren, Russell, Brougham, Theo Champney, the best of the novice finishers in 21st. And just to add on to that, the fact there was a B final, that's very impressive indeed. Joe Cheek was 22nd. Then it was Jake Genovis who spun round, of course, in 23rd. Caitlin Morrison, 24th. Josh Patch, 25th. Then we had Oliver Stilp, Alfie Thompson, Marco Horsley, Riley Bishop, Jack Stewart, Yehai Kalichan, Wesley Swain, Blake Tyshurst, and unfortunately the non-finisher of Leo Brown.